All right. So, um, hello, everyone. So, my name is Dr. Sharier. Hope everyone is doing well. So, I'm going to make a very interesting video today. So, this video is about um, uh, time zone differences and time zone changes. You must be knowing from the uh, some of the countries like Australia, New Zealand, Canada, then UK, European countries. They have something called time zone difference. So, in this video, we are going to talk actually how you need to adjust the time in these countries actually and you know especially in the first day we often get some confusion like you know because you know the mobile things uh, they adjust it automatically uh, but your watch has you know you need to correct it so the early morning you get up some time you might be confused oh this mobile is like that and why this you know watch is like that maybe something wrong with my watch <laughs> you know that's actually your watch was correct uh, I mean um, that's the thing uh, it's not the problem but you know you need it's just your mobile is advances with the time that's the only thing I'm going to tell you for so example there's two pole and one is the north pole one is the you know southern pole actually so the Australia is situated in the southern pole so in the first week I mean of April the Australia required to adjust the time like say normally I take classes so my class times are you know uh, we call Sydney time because Sydney and again Brisbane time is different uh, but anyways like in a Sydney time like let's take the standard Sydney time is 8 30 p.m. a little late we take the class for Australia uh, so they need to adjust the time you know to 8 30 to 7 30 because they live in southern pole now i currently i'm currently living in uk so for us uh all we need to do is adjust the time like say i don't know if you can see my uh this is my watch as you can see sure. yeah now it looks okay there's focusing is a little difficult because it's too much light yeah so as you can see uh it's currently let me tell you the time it's like you know uh, 10 uh, 15 as yes, that's the time which we give you here so um, uh, considering that I mean just a while ago my time was actually it was 9 and you know 9 20 so all I need to do is just fix the time to you know uh, 10 20 and why you know I'm more advancing because I live in the uh, the northern pole currently is in UK, but if you're in southern pole, you need to go backwards. But if you live in northern pole, you know we need to go forward. Why now? Why this uh, thing is? It's because of the daylight saving. You must be seeing in our countries, you know the the afternoon time that you know not much varies. It's like one hour, one and a half hour. Do you know in countries like you know? Australia, UK, those are, you know, quite in the extreme side. Um, in certain time, the, you know, the sun sets at like uh, 9, 9.30, all right? It's like that. So that's why there's a daylight saving procedure and the things it's called actually. Um, right now, you know, example in um, UK, um, it's almost like, you know, almost eight, you know, it's like, you know, and I, I think it's getting, uh, more with the time i mean the sunset is now it's eight now then it will go nine then it's 9 30 and even can be 10. Um, and um, if you go to in australia like you know uh, during this time you know it's the month of like you know, april like so they are start going backwards their um, sunset is currently like you know it's um like i think it's 5 30 and it's just going less and less so it will come around uh, five very soon actually so so that's the that's why the procedure is day life saving or this kind of thing now if you're living in a country um, which uh, time zone adjustment is required please comment below in that case say if you're living in um, i can give you an example of some countries like fiji i can give you an example like you know australia new zealand yeah um, uk of course all the european countries like, uh, Germany, Sweden, um, every every France, you know, they require adjustment. Even countries like Canada, they also need 
this type of adjustment actually it's not uncommon i mean it's quite a commonly practiced thing maybe those who live in asian countries maybe sometimes we are not familiar with this system because we never have to do that because our sunset time doesn't vary that much actually actually so we don't go with that maybe in future you know there will be uh, you know time zone type of saving in asian countries but i don't think so it, it's going to happen actually so uh, so i hope so this video is useful for all of you and um, don't forget to comment below that you know um, is your country is having any time zone zone change actually if it is how many hours or how many minutes thank you so much have a lovely day see